Hello there, fellow 3D enthusiast. In this episode, I'd like to talk a little bit about expressions in Das Studio and how they apply to the Genesis figure. So kind of an all round introduction to expressions, if you will. What are they? Where do I find them? Do expressions work on a different figure than they're designed for? How do I make my own expressions? And how do I save them? That sort of thing. So, um, you know, and how do, I, how do I best use them? That sort of thing. This was inspired by one of my Patreon supporters supporters Phil he was asking me I hope you find this useful Phil he was asking me hey I'm torn between these two expression packs here Genesis 8 female expressions made by Daz Originals and these ones here the expression collection for Victoria 8.1 will since they're made for Victoria will they also work on the base figure will the base expressions that are made for Genesis 8 work on 8.1 and so forth and so the answer to those questions hopefully will be revealed later. So in general, if something is made for a particular figure, like this one is made for Genesis 8.1, I don't expect them to work on 8.0 or Genesis 3. But these ones here, they will work on Genesis 8 female, so they won't work on Genesis 8 male or Genesis 3, they'll work on Genesis 8 female and they will also work on Genesis 8.1 female. So more on this whole topic of eight expressions on 8.1 a little bit later, but in principle, yes, they, they will work. If you had expressions that are made for a particular figure, like something like Victoria or a Toon character, they will also work on the base figure as well as other figures of or other characters in the same generation. But much like with poses, you may have to make small adjustments. So like a Toon character might have, you know, extremely puffy cheeks or whatever, and it'll assume those puffy cheeks to make an expression look good and if you have a kind of a slimmer faced character those expressions just might not look good or you know teeth might be poking through and oh, well, you just you know dull those down a little bit but in principle yes if something's made for genesis 8 it'll work for all characters of the eight generations and uh, likewise for three and so forth expressions are technically poses as of genesis 3 and 8 they're handled as if they were poses and let me show you where they are so i've got my genesis 8.1 female character here and if i go and select her in my scene tab i'll go and zoom in on her face because that's where the expressions are and to find these expression dials that come with the figure or the ones that you install later you'll head over here to the parameters tab and on there you'll find the pose controls that's the ones and in it you will find the head and inside that you'll find expressions. So I've got expressions and expressions 8.1. I've got a couple of packs installed here. So since this is an 8.1 figure, I'll have a look at expressions 8.1. And those are all the very sliders that you can fiddle with and play with. So if I go and dial this one up, afraid, dial that up to 100%, she looks a little bit afraid, slash scary. And I can go do the same thing with angry, and then she looks, you know, she looks angry. You don't have to go to 100%. You can do something less than 100%, depending on how extreme you'd like the expression to be. And much like with shaping presets, you can add things together. So, you know, if you have bereft and you want it, her to be bereft and angry, you can dial up both of them. Notice that if you match things together and you match all of them at 100% you get a really terrible expression so if I go and add bored to it as well as concentrate and confident you get like monster face so obviously don't do that unless you're going for kind of a caricature type look so alt click on the slider to set those back to zero but what does work well is if you mix and match them with a little bit so you could have something you know a little bit angry and also a little bit bereft until you find the expression you're looking for. So that's that's one way of dealing with that. There's also, if you find that you, you have something like an expression like afraid and you like it, but it's not afraid enough, you'd like to have it a bit more extreme, like you like the tendency, but you like her to be like, like terrified, then you can either add another morph to it or another expression to it, or you can say, you want say 200% afraid or 300% it's kind of you know depends on if it works or not but it, in order to make that happen to make the slider go above 100% you click this little cock icon in the slider head over to parameter settings 
and over here you have the minimum and maximum values. So you can either switch off limits altogether, then you don't have those constraints anymore. It doesn't not recommend it with expressions. Or you can say something like maximum is now 300% and then hit accept. And that will now let you dial up the afraid pose to above 100%. And that sometimes may work. So sometimes it's it's too much, but you know, in this case I think I can I can kind of live with this. That would that would work. So a little bit more than 100% just to make that effect more extreme. If you do it more than that it just sometimes the face just falls apart so careful with that but that's a way to make expressions more extreme if you if you need to do that like especially for cartoon characters you might want to do something that is more than what you can get out of 100 percent especially on older expressions let's dial this one up to 300 percent see if she's like extremely angry look at that that works extremely well to about 200 percent you can see the white on her teeth there oh my goodness the other thing that you can do with expressions is that you can combine them together with the seams. So the seams are down here in the, they're also pre-installed with the Genesis figures. The seams are the things that make up the mouth movements. So as I move my mouth, those are the expressions that my mouth pulls for certain vowels and consonants that I speak. Those are called the seams and they're used in lip syncing these characters with an audio track. And we have quite a lot of them, so we have more than we really need, uh, especially for still images. Uh, if you're making a comic or something, then you don't need all of these. You, you really probably just want to focus on the basics like A, E, E, O, U, like those five. They go well because that's, that's something you can convey in a still image. Probably less than that. You probably go for A, E and U. That's probably the ones that you could use. But you can dial in anything you want here and uh, it works like in addition to the expression. So if you dial up double A here, then she would just say ah in, in a way. Not as extreme as you might want it, but you know, it's, 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 it's there and you can use the same property that I showed you. You can make it more than 100% if you want. So ah and there's E and then things like ah, like ow, that would be, those are things that you say with your mouth, but you can add that together with an expression. So if she's, you know, if, she, if you use desire as well as the seam of O, oh, that might be the expression you're really looking for. And again, you can mix the seams. I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but this is essentially how expressions work. The ones, uh, just so that to, to tell you why I've got so many here, I've got this pack installed that we talked about earlier, this one here, the uh, expressions by Das Originals, staff picks and everything. And the default Genesis figure, they come with these ones here that are less red. So these ones here that are slightly darker, those are the default ones. Angry, Afraid, and I think we have Flirting, and Frown, and Smile Open, Smile Full Face, and Smile Full Open Face. So yeah, that's those are the basic ones. And if you add this, these, these packs here, then you get more expressions to play with. And notice that sometimes 100 is not a good idea. So be just just see what you think about the expression. So like a smile open or smile open full face and maybe 50% is nice. And if you want to add the other one, smile full face also to that, um, you can you can craft yourself the expressions that you want. I've got other expressions installed here. These are from 3D Universe. One is for the Toon Generations 4, and they're made kind of more for Toon characters, and they are not really intended for the Genesis base figure or for photoreal people, yet they do work. So the TG4 Dubious, some have a head movement in there as well. So it really depends on the, on the creator and how they've done it. But in principle, they they do work. Sometimes you may have to dial them down, so 100 might be a bit too much, but you know, in principle, they do work if it's the same generation. Like here, this is a good example. Uh, angry really crunches up her eyes a little bit too much. So that's, that's not gonna work on this figure, but it's gonna look really good on a Toon figure. But if you don't have a Toon figure, you can still use it and just, just make it a little bit less. Or you can go to the next thing we're gonna have a look at. How, how do you craft your own expressions? How do, you, how do you make that happen? If you have something that, if you really wanna do all the fine tuning, let me show you where these expressions are actually generated. If I zoom out a tiny bit here and I'll switch just temporarily to my joint editor tool, you can see that my whole Genesis figure has these bones 
inside. So all these gray things, they're the bones that move the geometry around in a kind of controlled fashion. So I can't bend anything here, but I can bend the whole thing and I can bend it here as well as there. That's called the rigging in the figure. And this is kind of a complex system that includes weight maps so that things don't go overboard, that they don't, that they only bend in certain places and not in others and so forth. So that's rigging and that's done with bones. And since Genesis 3, we have a rig also on the face. So if I go and zoom in on the face, I can see that there's all these tiny little bones here and all those are used to move portions of the face around as if they are in fact facial muscles. Now don't do what I'm doing and select the joint editor tool to tweak this. This is just to show you where the bones are and what they are. There are, there's, there are easier ways to control these points. So don't use the joint editor tool for that. You can just use the regular posing tool for that, but then you can't select them easy. So there's, there's two ways to access these points, three ways actually to access these points. One of them is in your Genesis figure. If you open that up and if you drill down all the way to the head, you'll find that the head has an upper face rig and a lower face rig. And if you open, like say, the upper face rig, you see all these bones exposed here. And that's how you can see where they are, and that's how you can control them. So if I go and have a look at the center brow here, for example, I get that control point here, and I can go and lift this whole thing up if I wanted to do that. So that controls that part of the face. Or if I wanted to, like the eyebrows, uh, they have three points here, left brow, inner, middle and outer. If I wanted to raise that outer left eyebrow, I can just go and click that. And then, you know, that is how I can, how I can add my facial expression there. That is what is this one way of doing it. That's, <laughs> there is an even more convenient way to do this. And that is by using the power pose templates. I might get into power pose in another video. Just for now, if you go and head over here, if that power pose tab, if you have that open, uh, you can go and click on it. If you don't have it open, you can head over to window, panes, tabs, and enable it and dock it somewhere sensibly. And power pose is a really exciting way of posing your figure. So as I said, I might get into that a bit later. You can pose the whole figure, you can pose portions of the face, but for expressions and for Genesis 8 in particular, you can switch over from the template of head to face. And then you see all these little control points here, like the, literally, it looks like thousands of them. They are not a thousand, that's about a about hundred or something, I think. I think I counted them once, forgot the number. But these now let you just left click and drag on one of these points. And that will now let you adjust anything that, that has a little blue point here. It's, it's literally any, any of these points that you can think of, you can wiggle around. Another one is the one that has been introduced with Genesis 8.1. That is the whole facial rig. So that lets you, that adds kind of a plate on top of the face that has more control points easily selectable in the viewport. But yes, this is what you can, what you can use to literally craft your own expressions really, really fine grained. Or you can start from pre-made expressions and then add your own finishing touches to that if you wish. So expressions are accessible when you select the figure, the actual figure, like the top figure here. In earlier generations, right, that's, that's another good point. In Genesis 3 and 8, it doesn't matter if you select the figure, the figure's top point or the head, even though the expressions are technically poses of the head. Uh, but yeah, when you select that, you go into pose controls, you go into head and there's expressions down here. On earlier generations, Genesis and Genesis 2, you have to physically select the head for these things to show up. In Genesis 3 and 8, it doesn't matter anymore because they've set up aliases to make them easier discoverable. But if you have an older generation and you want to use expressions on those, they um, the, you have to select the head and then head over into pose controls and find expressions there. Also, just on that note of older generation figures, we didn't always have this face rig that I've shown you with the bones. So in older generations, those are actually morphs. So now we don't really, I mean, you can still make expressions as morphs, but it's become rarer now because the, the facial rig is just so powerful that usually content creators use that to make their expressions. Whereas in older generations, you had to literally go into a 3D modeler and make a squint, model a squint, and then bring that in as a, as a morph dial, just as an aside here.
Well, if you've crafted the perfect expression and you want to save it, how do you do it? What what do you do? How do you, you know, save your, your masterpiece that, you know, looks like a mixture of bored, desired and disgusted all at the same time? How do you, what, what do you do? Expressions, as I said earlier, are technically pose presets and they're saved just like a pose preset that you make for the whole character. So there's no way to save out an expression preset. We have to use a pose preset for that. And to do that, you head over to file, save as pose preset, and that'll bring up first the dialog of where you want to save it. So I'll, I'll just call this test maybe. And then it'll bring up a window that lets you pick what part of the pose you'd like to save. So the trick here is to not save the whole figure as is the default. You want to drill down and basically disable this and drill down into the hip, abdomen lower, abdomen upper, chest lower. It's a bit complicated. Chest upper, neck lower, neck upper, and eventually you'll find the head in here. And that's the one that you want to tick. And now everything that's been set on the head will be saved as a post preset. Everything else will not. So if you had enabled the whole figure, as is the default, so with everything yellowed out here, it would mean that her whole A pose is now going to be saved as a full body pose. And we don't want to do that. We only want to save anything that's made a change on the head. So disable this whole thing, drill down to the head, just select the head and then hit accept to save your pose. And that can now be applied to a character that's already posed in a swishy pose and then only changes the head into whatever you've created there. There's one other way that I find extremely helpful to any, for anything to do with poses, and that is the puppeteer tool. That is something that's, that's I've got a docked here. That's kind of a, a plane that you can set up little control points and then literally move your cursor in between them to dial in your preferred expressions and slide seamlessly from one into another. So this is really powerful to use, but I think I'll leave that for another video. This I love using this in conjunction with expressions as well as the seams. So you can literally dial in whatever you need your character to look like. You can also use this to pose the character, the full body pose. You can use it to move the head and so forth. So we'll deal with puppeteer and the power pose pain in another video because those things are seriously, seriously cool. My friends and Phil, hopefully this was helpful and gives you a little starting point into expressions. If you do have any questions, please let me know. If you found this video helpful, then please also share it with friends, family and total strangers. And I'd like to say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for, to everyone who's been supporting me on Patreon and Ko-fi through Twitch subscriptions and through Amazon affiliate links, through YouTube subscriptions, through all that. I really appreciate it. It's wonderful to see so many people join my projects and it makes all my projects and all my videos a much much better and of course you can get funky benefits in the process you can get credits here you can get discord access and chat with me and ask questions and hook into an amazing growing community of like-minded 3d enthusiasts sharing ideas and bouncing things about my friends have a wonderful time until i see you next time take care bye bye